Hello, welcome to this tutorial series of design patterns. I am Bal Subramanian. What are design patterns? Design patterns are reusable solutions to common problems that we encounter in software design. Design patterns are templates that can be used in situations that recur in software design. What are those problems which, which uh, recur in software design? We, in, uh, we during uh, software design, we have to create objects. We have to organize the objects in such a way that they can communicate with each other. We have to ensure that the code is reusable. There is no repetitive code. So there should be cohesion. There should be strong coupling. Modification of uh, introducing new functionality to uh, to a particular method should not uh, end up in touching so many classes. So these are the things which uh, which uh, are solved uh, by design pattern. Which this design patterns provide a way in such a way that if we follow these patterns, uh, the modifications becomes easy, uh, the solutions become reusable. It avoids a lot of repetitive. So these are they provide templates. They don't actually provide solution to the context, of the domain that we are solving. They, they identify certain similar set of problems which uh, we will encounter at the uh, time of software design and if we use that template in, in, in the context of our domain we would be able to solve such kind of problems that is called design pattern once we understand what, uh, what is design pattern then it will be easy for us to go and understand why we need design patterns so since we told that design patterns are, are templates so they are broadly categorized into three categories one is creational the other one is structural and behavioral so what are creational design patterns creational patterns provides a capability to create instantiate objects on a required criteria and in a controlled way these patterns also increase the flexibility of reusing the code. So we will look into each of the creational patterns in, in, this, in separate tutorials. But to understand, we need to create of instances of class or objects or at, at during our software design. Uh, so for example, give me an object of this type if we will ask. Uh, 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 for example, cat, dog. Uh, lion they are all animals but if, if I have to say that okay I want to create an instance of cat and then they just say pass a, pass a string it will give an object to it there are certain times which we need to hide the creation uh, of the object uh, which which would involve a lot of complex things and we just need to get the object by passing in the type that's a type of creation and this problem is encountered in many of the places that we go and create for example consider uh, 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 creating of a connection string a creation of connection string involves a lot of other parameters like uh, uh, specifying the port and other things only parameter that i need to pass is okay i will give you the port number i will give you the username i will give you the password i will give the database name and then give me a connection string i am not bothered about how do i instantiate how do i open the port all these things give me a connection string so that is a type of creational pattern. So, uh, so the other example that I can really give is, uh, for example, that I need uh, an object which should have only one instance. Uh, nobody should be able to create one more than one instance of it. Uh, so that, the, so we just say that okay, give me only one instance of it. If multiple threads starts creating multiple instances of it, it would create a problem. So that is called a singleton pattern. So let us look into details of this basically but these are creational patterns structural patterns helps to organize how how organize the classes in such a way that they can efficiently uh, uh, communicate with each other and behavioral patterns behavioral patterns are associated with uh, the behaviors of it how, how do i need, how can i add some behavior to the existing thing without touching the class itself that's one type of behavioral pattern that we will look into uh, in future so what are uh, what are the types of creation pattern which are available one is factory method the next is abstract factory builder prototype singleton 
so while giving an example or while while talking about creational pattern i i happen to explain our talk about a factory method and singleton pattern and we will look into it in detail but I, i was just talking about it just to give the context of it structural patterns structural patterns help organizing different classes and objects to form larger structures while keeping the structures efficient and reusable reusability is important thing in object oriented thing so we don't want to write repeated code everywhere and uh, when we are uh, building complex software system we might end up in creating uh, classes or uh, classes or objects of similar types so how do we organize these classes and objects in such a way that they form on the bigger part of the uh, structure and while keeping it efficiently and reusable this problem we will encounter while we build many things so there are set of pa- set of patterns which helps us to solve this so what are these patterns let us look at it adapter bridge composite decorator facade flyweight and proxy uh, so since we looked into the definition of uh, structural pattern i will take one small example and then explain we don't want to go into detail but i'll just tell you uh, a proxy we might uh, we might have used proxies uh, in in most of the networking conference right so whatever request which we are sending it it goes via a proxy and the proxy is the one which uh, which uh, uh, which faces the outside world all the request go through a proxy and all the responses are received by the proxy and we will get the response out of it so that so that is used in many places in software design in terms of computer networking proxy is heavily used so for how it helps uh, it helps to hide who is behind the proxy it it helps us interface between the outside world and the, the actual requester so this is a pattern which is identified and it is it is very useful in many of uh, uh, our software building projects the other thing that we can talk about is uh, adapter uh, we might uh, uh, while we build certain software we might have to interface our software with some uh, old systems uh, and interfaces and how do we organize our classes in such a way that i can communicate with old interfaces and get the object which i can understand that is been achieved by adapter pattern we'll not look too much uh, well too much into it by just start up giving some examples to it so behavioral patterns behavioral patterns define the common communication between the objects or assignment of responsibilities between the objects those those similar set of problems or templates in terms of behavior of an object are called behavioral patterns so what are, what are the behavioral patterns what are some of the behavioral patterns chain of responsibility command iterator mediator momento memento observer state strategy template the visitor so these are behavioral uh, these are all behavioral patterns uh, so let us take uh, some of the examples and, and and then and then just talk little bit about it command uh, whenever we execute a command uh, in uh, against a database uh, consider as sql query which is executed so we just say that okay i am giving you the query please go ahead and execute it a command encapsulates what it has to be executed and and hides all the other details and gives the response back to it it takes in the query it takes in the database name and the connection string and it executes the command how it is executing uh, is all hidden by us it takes in what it has to do it executes and gives the result back it is associated with the behavior of of an object right? so that's command iterator which is heavily used we we iterate through list of collections uh, all the time when we build software so that is a pattern uh, so so there are other patterns which we look into it later but i'm just giving what are those behavioral patterns if i just say the definition we will not be able to correlate uh, uh, creational to okay what is creational what are the type of problems it solves for a basic structure what is structural pattern what are what are the problems that it solves so i'm just giving you a taste of what are those problems which exist and how it solves so with this uh, uh, we we have we have we came to know what are what is a design pattern 
what are the why uh, how design patterns are categorized and in each category what are the patterns which are available uh, let us go and look into individual patterns in separate videos thanks for your time